in of those 20 minutes. Seconds away, round three. Round three, still no score. Six rounds to go. Jones in the leotard versus John Savage of the Isle of Man. Ed Beckley, his trainer, has brought him into the wrestling business, is here this afternoon. Watch his protege. No! Ah! He ever gets to the heights of Dynamite Kid, who's in America most of the time now, and doing very well indeed. And he'll not only be a very wealthy young man, but he is very famous as well. Well, he's on his way. He's proven so far against Jones. Probably he'll never meet a tougher customer than this. One, two, three, four. Oh, yes, great posting. I timed that beautifully, Jones. And the double arm suplex, beautifully over the top, cross press, and in trouble, Savage. But Oh, he manages to get out of it. Crutch hold to Jones. Slam. Follow down. Cross press. Jones. Still only a two. Oh, beautifully held. Savage goes in fast with a cross press. Now can he hold? And he can. Great stuff. Oh, he'll be pleased with that. At least he's got a pinfall over the big man of wrestling in just one and a half minutes. In round three. So Savage leading one and nil. The thing I never thought I'd see Thank here. Thank you. In round three, the referee gives the first fall to the young heavyweight, John Savage. And I think Joe's pretty surprised, but sportingly he comes forward to shake his hand. I think he'll have something to say about it pretty soon. We can hardly wait for the bell to start round four. Second <laughs> way, round four. And here we go. He hasn't got to wait any longer, and Savage better watch out now. Savage actually leading the world mid heavyweight champion, Wonder Nell. Side headlock. Twice in that last round. Jones nearly had him. And then suddenly he turned the tables, but beautifully on a side folder. Take over now, just a little bit. Don't want to stop, Jones. No! Left to our move there. Yes, he got the fifth press here, but Jones saw it coming. Cross press. Cross press the other side. Tries it again. Now I give up that one, says Jones, but that's him up. Too near the ropes. Butt to the stomach. Oh, posting it. He's turning this time. Straight forward into it. Seems to be the left wrist or hand that he's hurt, but it's a full Boston crab to Jones. The submission may be here. Still, Savage has his left arm underneath him, which might save him. Jones didn't uh, persist there. He can hold out that long if he's not going to worry about any further. He'll try it again soon, no doubt. Still that power lock I'm waiting for. Oh. And a folding, folding press, and Jones can balance right. He's got him. He's got him. Just two minutes to round four. Jones the equalizer with a falling press. Well balanced one. And there we go. In two minutes of round four, the equalizing fall for the champion, Marty Jones. Jones looking a little bit more relaxed now. And Savage has got a bit of a one. But they're both. Both of them can't wait for the, for the start of the second half of the game. Second way, round five. Round five, one fall each. Still Savage going in on the attack early. Trying 
you know, Lever, for wrist lock position, yes. Cross press. But you'll never hold Jones with him. Go! Really turning that head. Headlock and strangle. Not bothering with the headlock at the moment. The right hand's free. Uh, Jones keeps going for that double arm through there. And he got one side of it. Trying to get him off the ropes. No event. Both four on the first four on of the bout. Tacked him too early, and, and the referee trying to break again. But it was Jones, the one that started that. Cool it down. Keep to the rules, says uh, referee Dave Reese. Just over excitement that made him do it, of course. He, he doesn't need to fall. Come on, <laughs> a little wary of each other now since he's got to one fall each. And both know that one more mistake. He's the end of the box. One minute to go. Round five. Beauty from Jones coming off the ropes. Now that could have a serious effect on this lad. Doesn't knock him out, but at least he could weaken him sufficiently for Jones to come in for a killer hole. No, still the next bar. Double arm again, Jones. He loves this move. Figure it, lock, try a cross press. Not going to work for him. Nope. 20 seconds is now. Fits right. Nice restless bridge by Savage. <laughs> if he does get up, the bell will um, save him any further problem in this. Oh. He's just about there, too. That's the that a lot of power in this boy. <laughs> so Dave Reese, the referee, having problems getting these two fellows back in the corner. Can't wait to get on with it. Three rounds to go, and there's still 15 seconds, 10 seconds rather, to go before they can start. <laughs> they can't, they're very impatient. Seconds away, round six. Both out in the middle of the ring before long before the bell rings to start the sixth round. Uh, trying the trip, didn't connect. Locking those legs off, and it's a folding press from the side. In just one minute, two seconds of round six, Jones the winner, two falls to one. But what a valiant effort this boy from the Isle of Man made against this powerful mid-heavyweight champion. Well, the Wrestling Wrestling Contest there, the winner in round six, the champion, Marty Jones. <laughs> and the appreciation of the red corner, young John Savage. And we'll see more of him, no doubt. Great effort by him.
That shows the winner two to one in round six. But that is goodbye from all of us at Bradford. Have a good week. Till next week. Yes, the sixth round win for the world champion. Next week, wrestling is back to its.